boy with a rare and potentially fatal immune condition is back home in Oxfordshire after being one of the first participants of a gene replacement trial. Three-year-old Ali Kim from Farringdon was diagnosed with chronic granulomatous disease last year. He had the therapy which involves modifying his own stem cells when attempts to find a donor failed. He's making progress but his immunity isn't as strong as if he'd had a transplant, as David Lum explains. <laughs> The Kim family are finally enjoying being at home together. Last year, three-year-old Ali was diagnosed with a life-threatening condition that stops his immune system working properly. After attempts to find a blood stem cell donor failed, Ali was invited to take part in a global gene therapy trial, a process that involved modifying his own bone marrow cells. We were excited that there was another option available because we hadn't found the match, but at the same time, it experimental. You don't know what's going to happen. You don't know if it's going to do anything, if it's going to work, if it's going to make things worse. The treatment has enabled the family to get some sort of normality, but Ali's body is still more vulnerable to infection than it would be if he could find a donor. He has some functioning cells, even though it's only about 5% of his cells. Um, that should be enough to hold off some, you know, major infection, at least the gene therapy bought us this time, a year, a year or two, and then hopefully we can find a match in that time. We're just hoping that one person shows up on the list um, as a match. You, you can't really do much. It's, it's out of your control. So um, we just put it in the hands of God and the hands of everyone else. More than 300,000 people in the UK are registered as potential donors with the charity DKMS but just 5% have a South Asian heritage and fewer than 3% are black. It's very much about their culture, um, their beliefs when it comes to donation, which is why we're working so hard here in the UK and indeed in the other countries in which we're operational to encourage people to sign up to get themselves on the register. Okay. Ali is having regular checkups to make sure his condition doesn't deteriorate. In the meantime, the search for a blood stem cell donor continues. David Lum, BBC South Today. Earlier, our health correspondent David Fenton explained why it's more difficult for ethnic minorities to find donors. If we look at one of the country's biggest stem cell registers, the Anthony Nolan Register, we can see that if you're white uh, European, you've got a 69% chance of finding a match. If you're black, Asian or from an ethnic minority, it's just a 20% chance of finding a match. Now that is a huge difference and that is all down to numbers really. There are far fewer people from those ethnic groups on the register. Uh, why can't a white European donate to say an Indonesian? Uh, it's down to DNA. There has to be an almost exact match uh, and that is difficult between uh, different ethnic groups. It gets even more complicated if you're say half Thai and half Italian, you'll need to find someone who is also half Thai and half Italian and of course that it reduces the chances even further. That said, all of these registers and stem cell groups are working very hard to try and encourage more people from ethnic communities to join so that they can increase the chances of finding matches for people from those communities. David Fenton there. Two Puma helicopters.